make an impact on a kid with special needs at Camp Blessing. It was really like a life-changing experience to be able to make that friendship and uh, to help him be able to do things that he normally can't do day in, day out. It touched me more than probably it touched him because uh, Riley, my camper, was such a great soul and honestly, it made me realize that you have to learn how to love everybody. It's another eye-opening experience again, uh, being able to be taught by some of the best in the world, uh, our Marines, and uh, seeing Quantico firsthand and their training and what they do, the rigors of their daily life, really is a testament to their hardworking skills. The Marines and the whole military is, you know, leaders, uh, daily work ethics and just routines. And on the football field, it's really the same thing, but just on a lesser level because it's not life and death. But uh, in reality, it's like the same skills, and I was able to bring that to the team and show that level of respect to our players. When he came back from uh, both those camps, uh, you saw a different level of his leadership. Uh, uh, you could see uh, he was a little bit more well-rounded. He knew when to uh, put his arm around somebody, and he knew when to raise his voice. And you could definitely see it uh, help develop him, not only as a leader, but as a man. You have him. He's one of those key components of our leadership. Uh, there's a reason he got offers to West Point and Air Force Academy. Um, you know, they see what type of leader he is. Um, he's, a, he's one of those select few that, again, knows how to do it by example. It pays off because uh, everybody else just follows, uh, because the standard is set. Uh, and uh, where Bruno has set the bar, uh, everybody else has to match it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And it really puts it in a different perspective, not to just judge people, but actually learn and actually communicate with them and know what they're all about.